Hello everyone, so I'm here today to film my update for my project 50 pen for 2018. I'm filming a ton of updates today for all of my projects because August was an absolute mess for me and I missed pretty much all of my updates. I, ha I still have a pen that palette update that I filmed like two weeks ago but haven't edited and posted so that will be going up soon uh, if it's not all up already up and then I'll also be filming another pen that palette update for this month of the upcoming month of September. So basically my project update schedule has gone completely out the window and I'm just trying to get as many updates up as I can and then I'll just start again in September. So this is my project 50 pan. So this was a project that I started at the beginning of the year and I'm trying to finish 50 products by the end of the year. It became very clear to me that I overestimated myself and it's really become more of a project progress and I'm trying to see how much progress I can make on these 50 products by the end of the year. This is a project I've also lost a lot of steam on this year, unfortunately, and I'm getting a little bit tired of pretty much everything that I've put in this project. So I'll just run through all of the products that I have made progress on since my last update, which was, I believe, about a month and a half ago, um, and I'll just let you know how I'm going for the next few months. So the first product to mention is my Models Prefer Mineral Powder in the shade Soft Focus. This is a ambient lighting powder dupe product, and as you can see, there there are lots of rings showing at this point. It is really, really thin out to about this outer ring here, and then there's still some on the outside. It's really crumbly down in this section, but I'm just using it every single day as a finishing powder, and it will go as fast as it goes. I do really like this product, and then after I finish this one, I have a mini loose setting powder that I would like to finish as well, and then I will be totally done with all of my powders. I don't know at this point if I will purchase another powder. Uh, if I did, I might purchase this one again, or I would try the ambient lighting powder from um, Hourglass, which is what this is supposed to be a dupe of. Um, but at this point, I don't actually really want any powder, so we'll see how I go finishing this one and then moving on to my other one. I also have my Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Sunkissed. So I did make a mark at my last update because um, I could finally see where it had settled up. Prior to that, I couldn't really see where it had settled down to, and now I am down to this mark here. So that, again, is like a month and a half, so I can definitely finish this before the end of the year, which is so great, because this has something like 15 mils of product in it, which is kind of a lot for a liquid bronzer, but I really like this product, and I will be happy to finish it up. Next, I have a highlighter. This is my Marc Jacobs Glistening Illuminator Glow Stick in the shade Spotlight, and this is a stick highlighter. I've been using this every single day for the last few months, um, and I have been keeping track with like a little marker progress, but there's no progress to mark as of this update, which is kind of disappointing because I've been using it every single day, but it is a really beautiful golden skin-like finish and I absolutely love it. I just kind of wish there wasn't so much product in it uh, because it's taking so long to use. Then I have my Urban Decay Naked 2 Basics palette. I haven't been using this too much but I did pull it out briefly to try and use up some of Primal here. This shade I'm trying to finish, I've already finished off Frisk this shade here and that one I was trying to finish. I was using it in my eyebrows for a little while um, and then I swapped over to some other eyebrow products that I'm trying to use as well and I've just put it on the back burner for the moment. Maybe I will try and completely finish this palette up next year um, but at this point it's just not really a priority. My other eyeshadows were my Dior Holiday Couture eyeshadow palette. This was from I think 2014 and I have been using all of these shades not as much as I had last update but that's the progress at the moment. Moment. Most of the progress is in these two products. I was using this as a highlighter for a while there. These two I have been using, but they don't look changed at all. I kind of still think I might be able to finish this one by the end of the year. Um, I'm kind of giving up on these ones, but I love this quad, so I'm not too bothered about having it stick around. I've made some really good progress on my Revlon Color Stay Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Espresso. I just pushed it all down so that you can see where it is. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it is completely below the uh, graining. I don't know. What is this like? 
the swirl of the screw it's completely below that so it's more than halfway done and I think um, once I start digging down into the center again then I will hit pan really quickly and I'll just be able to finish it up but I like pressing it down like this because it shows progress pretty steadily um, and it means that it doesn't dry out or get weird and underneath my fingernails and stuff like that as you can see, I am wearing my Napoleon Protist lip liner in Rococo Red today underneath MAC Russian Red. I have been using these occasionally, but again, another product is pretty clear that I won't finish by the end of the year because I just don't think to wear red lips all that often. I have made some markings so basically that's where I started and that was where my last update was for this product and it's kind of still at that line if I made a line it would just touch it so I've just left it for today but you know it is what it is it's a red lip liner and I'm using it as much as I can be bothered next we have a product that I actually finished and I'm so glad to have finished this this was the bare minerals gen nude buttercream lip gloss in the shade must have I took the stopper out and I scraped it as clean as I possibly could um, without like pretty much no product coming out the little bit there at the bottom is unreachable with the wand and I have finished this I absolutely love the formula of this lip gloss and I really liked this color as well so I would consider repurchasing it after I finished up some more lip glosses but that's one that I've finished up next is my Too Faced melted liquefied longwear lipstick mini in the shade melted chihuahua I've worn this a handful of times in the last month and a half two months but I can't really mark the progress because the packaging is opaque next is my urban decay vice lipstick in the shade sheer liar this is what the little nub looks like now I made a marking I haven't been wearing this as much as I had the previous months but as you can see I am down to that line there so pretty steady progress and I still have a little bit left but hopefully I'll be able to finish that up over the next few weeks and then that will be done it's a really easy pink color to wear underneath pretty much anything so it shouldn't be too difficult and then we have my MAC Russian Red this is the lipstick that I'm wearing today I was planning on finishing it this year but this is the progress that I have made very very minimal progress there and there's still a lot of product left. I also pulled out my Tarte Tartist Glossy Lip Paint in the shade Goals recently. It only has six mils of product in it but for some reason it just looks so opaque and thick in the tube that it looks like I haven't done anything to it ever but I'm still working on that. Hopefully there'll be more progress as I use it more often. And then I have my nail polishes. So these are the nail polishes I'm working on in this project. These are the only two I have used in the past month and a half. This is the one that I'm wearing at the moment. It is the Sephora Formula X nail polish in the shade Impeccable and you can see on the side that is my progress there. So not that much but I'm doing my best and this is my Marc Jacobs High Shine Enamored, Enamored High Shine Lacquer uh, in the shade Gatsby and that is my marking there. So this is really difficult to use because it is so thick, like wide, um, but it is a really nice polish. So I'm still holding out hope that I will finish at least one of these four that I chose this year to finish. Then I have the products that I added to the project after it had started. The first is my Pixi H2O Skin Tint uh, Tinted Face Gel. I took this on holiday with me last week and it was the only product I was using. I absolutely love how this looks on the skin. It is so dewy and glossy. I really like it. But I haven't made a mark on it even though it has gotten quite a bit thinner since I started using it. I'm still using it, still loving it, um, but I don't have any mocked progress. And next is another product that I finished. This was the Arborian CC Cream High Definition Radiance Face Cream in the shade Claire. This was just a mini. I really liked this product. I really liked the finish of it. It is incredibly pink on the skin, so it is pretty noticeable, but I did really like the finish, so I would consider buying it again, and I just finished up that little mini. Last Lastly, I have a lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Lip Cheat in the shade Pillow Talk, and I have made a mark here so you can see my progress. 
that was where I was at the last update, that is where I am now, so some really good progress there, but I still have plenty of lip liner left. This is a really easy to wear nude pink colour, so I can wear it under pretty much anything and it looks good, so hopefully I can just start reminding myself to pull this out and I'll make more progress on it. So there you go, those are all the products that I have made progress on and that I have finished since my last update for my Project 50 pan. If you're doing a Project 50 pan, please let me know how you're going. Please Please let me know how you're staying motivated because I'm just getting so tired of these products and the lack of progress that I'm making on all of them. I'm really happy about finishing up a lip gloss because that's really exciting, but then it feels like the next lip gloss I'm picking up is like brand new so I have to start all over again and that's a little bit disheartening. So how do you stay motivated? How do you think I should stay motivated to try and at least make some really good progress on these products by the end of the year? Let me know how you're going with your projects. Otherwise thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.